Hey, welcome to this origami tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fold an origami crow. Little designer came up with quite um, quite a while back. I just haven't got around to doing a tutorial. I think it's quite cool. It's nice, easy, simple design. Um, yeah, so shouldn't be too difficult to follow. I've used for this um, for this model. I've used uh, double tissue paper. So that's two pieces of um, tissue paper stuck together. So the yeah, this design requires pretty light um, or thin paper rather. So yeah, I just used something that was um, yeah as thin as I could get it. Uh, it's the the detail or the details in the legs need to be quite thin. You can see the legs are pretty thin, and the beak's pretty pointy as well. So the thinner paper you use, uh, the, the better this model is going to come out. We're going to be using um, this is just standard kami. Should be good enough uh, for when you're starting out. But uh, yeah, if you want to perfect this model. Uh, try get something that's a bit thinner. Cool. So we're going to start with. I'm using uh, just you know, white on the back and then uh, color on the other side. You can use any color you want. Um, we're going to start by folding the diagonals across there. So that line across there. And fold. Okay. Now we want to fold. Yeah, the diagonal, so just rotate 180 degrees, fold that guy up to there. Cool, unfold, flip the page over. Okay, so rotate it so that you've got this um, square facing down. And now we're going to fold the line running from there. And then another one down there. So we'll start with that one there. So this up to the top. And unfold. Rotate 180 degrees. We're going to fold the line running through there. So diagonal to that line. Um, if you want to go ahead and um, you don't want to follow these steps, I'm folding a, uh, it's a frog base. So if you know how to fold a frog base, you can carry on. Uh, if you don't, just carry on watching. This is eventually going to turn into a frog base. Cool. So now if you notice, you've got, um, if you fold, rather if you turn the paper over, um, you've got the diagonals, which are valley folds and the um, this cross, these lines here running uh, from top to bottom and left to right are mountain folds. Cool, so the reason I've folded the paper like that is so that when you do close it up it's easier for it to form into that shape. Okay, if you missed that, let's look at that again. So have the colored side up and we're going to just fold um, these lines are going to go in. So if you see how the, if you fold it correctly Basically what's happening, let's fold it, sorry, I'm confusing myself here and probably you as well. So let's put the paper down um, with the white side showing up. Um, you'll notice that these, so what we want to do is you want to bring this line to that point there. You can see, fold it down like that. And we're going to do the same with that line there, so you can do this at the same time. Oops. And close the model up like that. You can just run, run your finger over the creases, do the same on the back. Cool, so now you should have a little diamond shape like that. Like I said, um, I'm going to be folding a frog base, so if you want to just go ahead and do it and wait at that point, then we'll take it from there. Cool. Okay, so you should have four flaps like that. 
put it down you can we're going to do the same to each one of these flaps so i'm going to show you the first one so lift one of these flaps up fold it all the way across to the other side and then pre-crease and bring it back to the middle so what you want to do now is squash fold basically you're going to push this down you'll notice that the two edges start sort of popping out to the side so what you want to do along this line here all the way to the top point there you want to push this down make sure that these bottom points are still touching there you're going to kind of stick your finger in there so that it does that fold that down make sure this line is lines up with um, at that point there cool and your finger across like that just form those lines like so okay so just to repeat it'll now have um, lines running that side and that side so all we did was we lifted this up pushed it down and created a squash fold cool um, flip the whole page over now you're going to do the same to this flap here so you've got like I said we're going to repeat what we've just done on the previous flap on the other three flaps so again just pre-crease make sure it's that one that way push lightly down so that these sides start popping out slightly get your finger in there so that it starts squashing at the bottom run this line here all the way down to that point there and then just flatten it don't flatten it until everything's lined up otherwise you're going to get uh, it gets all weird and misshaped at the top there cool uh, we're going to do the same on the other two flaps so the best way to do that is if you fold this piece over and then you'll see you've got this so that's the back one you've just done this one over here is the one on the opposite side so we're going to do exactly the same thing with these guys so get your thing in there squash it down make sure these points at the bottom are touching and in line you see the lines not quite lined up there we go try and run your finger if it gets stuck at the top generally what works is if you just run your finger softly along there so that these it kind of gets to the top point there it should work cool so flip the model over so you've you can flip that piece over so you've just got this last little flap that you're gonna now push down doing exactly the same as what we've done with the other ones points at the bottom hold this in line so make sure this is lined up with this here like I said if you push here first it might squash it a little bit weird so just run your finger softly along there and see everything lines up cool okay so leave it as it is um, what we're going to do now is we're going to fold each of these raw edges here to the center point like that so basically you're creating you bisecting this angle here so that little triangle white triangle here you're going to bisect there you're going to do it to all there should be eight flaps there now so all you're going to do is fold that to the middle line try and get it as precise as possible okay you see what's happened there cool now you do the same with this point here so you're going to fold that raw edge there to the center point And unfold so now what you want to do is we're going to create a petal fold so basically what we're going to do is we're going to use these lines that we've just folded to get these guys to fold in okay Again. So basically we're creating a line running there and a line running there. Okay, so the best way to do that is 
you want to lift this up and you're going to fold these points in and you're going to do the same on the other side to form that shape there. Okay, unfold it so you get exactly what's going on. If you've never done this before, it's probably going to be a little bit tricky, but that's you'll get it. So you just fold that up and you're going to form that shape like so. And then fold this triangle down. You should end up with that shape there. Rinse and repeat for the other three sides. Okay, so flip the whole model over. You'll see you've got exactly the same thing here. So you're going to take this raw edge to the center, try and get it as close to the bottom point as possible. Okay, like so. This So, cool, again, you're going to lift this up. You'll notice that there's not a line there, so that's the line we're going to form now when you lift this up. So, if you lift this up at that point there, flip this guy in, you'll see that it needs to just fit in like that. This one automatically does the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side you do now, we're just going to do exactly the same thing. So fold this flap over, this flap over again, this point, sorry, that edge to the corner, sorry, to the center, that edge to the center. This guy up. Okay, flip the whole model over, that side, over like that, and over, okay, now you're going to take that raw edge to there, and that raw edge to there, got all the lines there, open these guys up, lift this up, Flap that underneath. So these two points here are meeting right there. You see that? Close it. Cool. So congratulations, you've just folded a frog base. Cool, huh? Right. Now what we're going to do is you should have four flaps if you so the models like this on that side and like that on the other side the reason it's called a frog base is because you've got these four flaps this can essentially fold into a it's a traditional frog um, I'm sure if you look online somewhere you'll find a tutorial or diagram which shows you how to do it but I'm not going to show you that now um, so what you want to do is just if you move the model to the side you can see there's one two three four flaps there on the other side, one, two, three, four. Okay, so all you're going to do is take this flap over once. So now you'll see that there's no triangle facing down here. Flip the model over and then take this flap over to the right. So you still have four flaps and four flaps. It's just you've now covered those pieces on the other side. Flip the model over. So these guys are now in the center. Cool. Okay, now if you open the model up, you take two flaps over like that. Okay, so you've got that and that on the opposite side. We're going to work with this flap here. Okay, if you open to the side, you just want to work where this flap is. We lost signal there for a second. Anyway, um, so what I was saying is we're going to fold a line running from that center point there down there and then another line from there to there. 
Cool. So how you want to do that. So this is currently a value fold. And I said there's some talk about this line here. So we want that line there to now become a mountain fold. So as you fold that, fold it across like that. Increase that line there. So you've now got that line creased there. Do exactly the same on that side. So fold over. You're just creasing that inside part there. So what will now happen, you've got that line, those two lines running there. As you close this, this point now sticks out. So this is going to be one of the legs. We're going to do the same on the other side as well. Cool. So flip the model over. And you should have, okay, so if you've got this piece like that, you've got that. That'll be another flap. We're not going to work with this one. We're going to fold one two more down and now we're going to do the same as we did on this flap over here so we're going to fold the line running from there to there and another one from there to there sorry I'm talking absolute rubbish we're talking <laughs> folding a line from there running to there and another one from there to there sorry if that was confusing so this line here is currently a valley fold, so we're going to turn it into a mountain fold. So if you just squeeze, actually if you start at this point here, just squeeze all the way into there. So you'll see at that point there that I've marked. Also make sure that this is nicely creased. So just fold this flap up and then back down so you've got a line running down like so. Cool. So you want to now fold that line to there. Increase it. And now you want to fold that value fold there. So this line here, running along to there, increase it. So now as you close this flap up, see what happens. So this automatically, as you close this up, little leg pops up like that. So this is what your model should currently look like. You've got these two points sticking out there, folded in that angle there, and then fold this flap over. So you should have, your model should technically look like this, so like that on one side and then that on the other side. If it looks like this, just fold this flap down. So you don't want this small triangle to be visible there. You want it to be like that. Cool. So now what you're going to do is just take the whole model. Okay. And we're going to fold it. We're going to fold a mountain fold along there. Okay, so there we have the basic shape of the crow. So we're going to put the head there. There's the tail. You can see the two little tail pieces sticking out there and these are the legs cool all right so now what you want to do is open the model up slightly we're going to work on the head now um and usually what i do this is i mean you can move as far down as you want generally a crow's head isn't much bigger than sort of that part of the of its of its body so um go into the middle part so make sure there's four flaps on the side four flaps on this side so you're in the center okay Kind of put your thumb inside there and hold around about this, looking at about that much there. And all you're going to do is press, watch as I'm pressing. I'm not, I'm not um, forcing it, but the paper will automatically fold into that sort of shape there. So now you can see you've got those lines. Essentially you're making a, that's what you call a crimp fold. So there's one line running down and another one running along there. So this becomes a valley, that becomes a mountain fold, and the same on the other side. So valley, mountain, okay, so that's the basic shape of the crow's head. Okay, all we have to do now is the legs and the feet. So 
let's focus on the one foot so what you need to do here is open up here so about about that much so just reverse fold like that so all you're doing is opening this up slightly folding this backwards like so okay so the leg should look like it's backwards now so now what you're going to do is if you open this up you want to fold the line valley fold running from that point there to that point there through there so you're just going to fold this guy over like so close the model up just to give a little sort of foot detail okay we're going to do the same on the other side so you can measure if you want to measure like how far you want to fold it in so just grab a little section of it there reverse fold it okay so you should have foot should look like this you open up this section here you're going to fold just you just want a line running from there to there you're just going to fold this piece back over there like so Now you've got your little foot. You can leave it like this if you want. Crows don't generally have legs that thick, so what you want to do is now you're going to fold. I generally just grab this like this. Um, essentially, you're folding lines. Mountain folds from there to there, and then another one along there. But essentially, just bringing these pieces together so that it makes the leg slightly thinner. Can't really see it now. There we go. So, do it the same on the other side. So, you're just folding a line running along down there, another one there, and another one there. And the best way to do that is just to grab a leg like this. Just squeeze it. Don't squeeze all the way down because you don't want to squeeze through the foot itself. Cool. If you play around with him, he should stand. You can't really see whether he's going to stand or not now. But if your yeah, if your feet are sort of balanced correctly, you should stand. Or you can just lean him on his tail, whatever the case is. But that's generally the basic idea of this origami crow. Um, if you want to add another detail into the face, what you can do is if you fold a fold a little just fold a line along there. Um, actually to be in the opposite direction you're just making a small little crimp it's just to give him a sort of head so all you've done here is you fold it down along that line there and just lift a little bit of space fold it another line in the opposite direction so one valley and one mountain it just gives him more of a sort of head shape There you go. So yeah, that's basically what this um, this crow looks like. Cool. Please leave your uh, your comments in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for um, yeah another tutorial or, or um, anything any suggestions you have on this design. Please let me know. Thanks for watching.